All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yisrael. Welcome to Star Citizen. The 3.19 patch has dropped. I have no idea what the servers are going to be doing like tonight. Weekend's going to be even more fun, of course, because we've got a free flight weekend and the Invictus launch week coming up. So we'll see if they've improved the servers, that's for sure. So, plans tonight. Get into the Persistent Universe get a look at the newbie experience which they've supposedly added and generally pick up and try and get some stuff done from there not least which is the fact that thanks to a teensy tiny pre-patch screw up on my part i have a vanguard warden some two million credits of heavy fighter stuck in limbo somewhere i'm not sure where getting that back is going to be interesting i hope i can get it back or this is going to get real expensive real quick anyhow persistent universe and character customization start with mail we have all the available sources so initial head cycle through sources there are some ridiculously varied options going on here uh, you can then begin blending so brows cheeks just mix as you go. I have no idea how half of this works. Accept. Save. Alright. Do I want to play the tutorial? Before starting your session, will I set your primary residence to area 18? Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, not exactly Legolas. Um, the client crashed while I was on the surface of, I think it was Walla, and I haven't logged in since. Now, in theory, 30k protection should have kicked in. In theory. Not sure. Anyhow, let's get this tutorial going, see how this works for a newbie. It was pre-patch 30k MD, so hopefully it set everything and then patched across. But there is a bit of an issue with long-term persistence, AUE seaboard ships, and 3.19. So it's all a bit up in the air. I need to get through the tutorial, see if I can respawn the ship. If I can do that, we're probably okay. If not, well, that's two million credits are uh, of heavy fighter gone to the void. Anyhow, tutorial, first steps. Exit the bed. <laughs> Get up, you lazy sod. <laughs> okay, nice touch over here. We have got a little bit of a guide there, as well as controls here, here and here. I know that it's actually st starting me in a suit of light armor as well, which is useful. Hello, Buya. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Just trying out the tutorial. Let's see how this goes. So, interact, look, press F, and then get up. Uh, welcome to the 30th century. It's, uh, the alarm clock is still the tyrant of the morning. Objective complete. Exit bed. Good to see they're starting you off with the simple stuff, isn't it? Eh, do, 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 do. Look around. Welcome to the verse. Your Moby Glass. Computer features a journal where useful information and documents are kept. Okay, so pop your journal. Okay, well, I kept the credit balance 332k. Select the journal. Welcome to the verse. 930 years into the future. Many humans spend their lives never leaving their homeworld. However, welcome to the verse. Uh, it is doable, Legolas. Give me a second. I'm going to lose the chat for a moment. Hunger and thirst are to the left, and oh, it just bumped me down to 50% of both automatically. Nice touch, but I'm going to exit to the options menu thing because controls, mouse, gamepad, and key bindings, you do have an inbuilt console controller loader. Me, I prefer HOTAS, but then I've been playing Flight Sims for years and I've got the hardware for it. Speaking of which, yes, there is a free flight coming up this weekend. Oh, they even marked the water in the burrito. Handy. 
Well, the controller will work. Um, there, I do also have an invite code, so I will stick that onto the Discord at some point. So pick it up from there post-stream. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, well, now. I'll put a link to my Discord down below. Actually, it'll be more like down th there somewhere. You know where I mean. Video description. Anyhow, eat the burrito. Norma. Uh, okay, and drink the water. Glug, 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 glug. Drink all the water. Okay, tutorial entry interaction mode. Once you leave, you will not be able to return. Which actually interests in case because you this would be a good option to get rid of litter, wouldn't it? So um just plonk the bottle down there and ah, someone else will clean it up. Actually that would be a really good moment to talk about drop and place for held items. Ah, huh, that's an improvement they could make. Anyhow. Quickly use an item's main interaction, press F, leave the hab, and oh, touch grass, boya. Um, no. That, that's the nearest thing you're going to get to grass on Area 18. Okay, head down to the elevator, because Area 18 is, um... Let's just say they heard the phrase, urban blight. Ah, right, I see. Oh, good point, yes. Let's just say they heard the phrase urban blight and decided it sounded like an excellent idea. Hmm. Yeah. All right, call the elevator again. There we go. Oh, somebody else dropped their bottle. Litterers. I ask you, what is this city coming to? Coruscant crossed with New York City, crossed with a healthy dose of Blade Runner. Yeah. Okay, elevator to the ground door. Pop the doors. Interesting, but that should have popped automatically. And out we go. Alright, so view the area map. This is a new addition they've made to Area 18. There are now proper maps. Huh. No, that was just the uh, display updating for some reason. Okay, cities and space stations have got signs. They used not to, and that was an interesting experience. It's, as you say, MD, it's not a big deal, but it's still, you had to do it a few times in 3.18 as well, so I think it's just the thing with the door coding at the moment. But hey, we now have a shiny new map. This is actually a very welcome improvement. It tells you where everything is. Uh, hangars, food, spaceport on the transit platforms. Uh, I don't know if they've opened up the Bevix Vegetator. That's, I believe, is where Invictus is being held at the end of this week. And you've got multiple options for getting everywhere. So, Cubby Blast. Because it's not Space New York if you haven't gone and bought yourself a space gun. Yank, now use the shopping... Oh, good, they've added an extra... I thought there were only two kiosks here in 318. Huh. Now there are three. Excellent. And it looks like they've cleared the jam as well. Ooh, and a proper UI here. Use interaction mode to browse shopping items and buy sell items, move away from the kiosk, or press X to close it out to use an interface. I would have taken the opportunity to have somebody buy a gun and introduce inventory management there, but uh, again, tweaks, notes. Journal added shopping and inventory. Considering that the tutorial did not run me through an inventory there, that is a bit of a whoopsie on their part. Again, that's something they can improve. Ooh. Ooh, I just realized something. We could eat and drink. My character's not wearing a helmet. Interestingly, the GVS... Okay. So the GVSRs are back in inventory, which means the game has done something with regards to the inventory that I had on board the Vanguard. I think... We might get lucky here. Might. Oh, Mac Flex grey armour. Hmm, handy. Did they give us a backpack? No. Awkward, but... Eh, can't have everything. 
But yeah, a good thing there would have been buy a helmet, equip a helmet. Because if this tutorial doesn't give me a helmet at some point, you know it's going to end with some newbie sucking vacuum, doesn't it? Because I've been playing for ages, booyah. That's all stuff from 318 and stuff I've accumulated down the years. A new, a new new account would have a much emptier inventory. Interestingly, the, G the GVSRs, the repeaters, were on the Warden, so that's a good sign. Oh, we have a new uh, terminal for the Bevic Convention Centre. Oh, they've spruced up the destination signs as well. That's a welcome improvement. We're not going there, though. We're heading to City Flight Transit and off to Riker Memorial. How Star Citizen? It is, when the servers are behaving, it is the best damn space sim ever. When the servers are not behaving, it's um, an interesting experience. All right, let's see. Catch the tram. Board the shuttle, which I have done. And take the tram to the spaceport. It's survival. Absolutely. Cons the real test, of course, is going to be this weekend when we have the free flight and we have Invictus. Um, for those of you not familiar, Invictus in universe is the big military. We all love soldiers stroke recruitment event. In game, it's an opportunity for them to show off most of the ships and run a sail or three. And you do actually get to free demos of a lot of the ships in the game if you're playing. But yeah, welcome to Art Core, specifically Area 18. The entire planet is like this. Like I said, they heard of Urban Blight and decided it was a great idea. And it, yeah, that is a very good summary. Like I said. Oh, they've got rid of the traffic. There used to be traffic on this highway, just automated stuff. There's a lot less of it now. That's actually an improvement. Maybe they just couldn't fix the bug that had everything going at 90 degrees along the roads and... Uh, no, no, we do have some traffic, just a lot less. Well, I wonder if it's more detailed. All right, yoink. So, yeah. Oh, Avenger. Everyone's flying Avenger Titans by the look of it. Go figure. PC would... Right, the Cobra is a popular move in flying. It is, it is, yes, but not for skidding down the entirety of the Russia. Uh, PC would you... Uh, system requirements are at robertspaceindustries.com. Um, oh yes, also Drake Defense Con. There's a hilarious bit of lore there. Um, mostly it's Invictus, which is all the military contractors. Drake Interplanetary do not have any military contracts. Um, they, uh, <laughs> so they decided that at the end of Invictus launch week, they basically throw their own convention with Blackjack and Hookers because they are not invited to Invictus for reasons, which we'll get into later, maybe. Oh, they've added little terminals there to this way to your ships. That's a nice touch. Angers, spelt properly, I might add. Uh, they've got the banners up for launch week already. And, oh, that, they've moved the launch terms. That is considerably more convenient. All right, access a fleet manager terminal. Get my tutorial ship, Anvil Pisces rented, deliver. First deliver to my location, 20 seconds. Wait for that to tick down. And then retrieve it to a hair. This is an MMO. Oh yeah. At the moment they're splitting up into hundred player shards. But I believe the plan is to scale up as the servers mature. Develop. Are less prone to catching fire and falling over. However, rather like Elite, space is big. Really, really, really big. So you can go a whole play session and barely see anyone once you're out in the black. Anyhow, let's get my little shuttlecraft out. One C8 Pisces. Your 
vehicle has been delivered to the following location. And hangar six. All right, off we go. Call the elevator. Everything runs on diagetic interfaces. Well, almost everything uses diagetic interfaces. So if you want to use a lift, lift has a control panel. Select the button. <laughs> okay. Observe the ship marker. Head over to your hangar. And here we are. One anvil C8 high seat. She's not much, but she's mine. Temporarily. Two guns at the front. Little foldy stub wings. Couple of small missiles. Ramp at the back. Every time I hear area, I always... Think of code gas. Yeah. Yeah. Right, close the hatch. Interaction mode to sit in the pilot seat. And I need to kick my own con flight controls up. Alright, let's see if this thing recognizes a pre-bound controller. Secure my Hotas. Throttle zero. Main power on. Okay, good, it did recognize it. Nice touch. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the C8 is cheaper. The C8R, oh, I actually have the C8R. Um, you'll probably see that later on. Anyhow, request takeoff clearance. You are clear to launch. Hangar bay will open. Right. And WSSD lateral. That should be WASD, really. Also, exit seat is not spacebar, it's Y. Yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding. Star, in fact, that's occasionally a failing with Star Citizen. It's a simulator that sometimes needs to remember it's meant to be a game. Anyhow, slew up. Speed limiter up a little. That's just a nice safety thing so that you can control. You can set your speed limiter low for precise manoeuvring or just safety, or you can ram it right the way up and really get going. Okay, tutorial ship out of the hangar. Okay. Let's kick in the main thrusters, pivot up at 70 degrees, and there we go. There we go, okay, it was waiting for aerospace control to say we were clear. All right, retract the landing gear. Wings unfold automatically. You'll notice we've got all the little thrusters adjusting. Pitch roll your... Ev pretty much everything modeled it. Fairly detailed. Specs and I need to follow the checkpoints out of area 18, so I am going the wrong way. Fire the afterburner. Interesting, they don't have us leaving vertically, which is pretty much normal behaviour. C8R is 980k. How much is the C8? Also, I'm gonna. Ah, I'm gonna pull my speed limiter back a little. Because I'm 13,000 metres, but well, 12 kilometres up. Don't really want to smack into the ground. Physics is a thing, and it is... Well, it, Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Or atmosphere. Depends on your point of view, really. He doesn't care, he doesn't discriminate. See you later, boy. I'd say check out the Discord, and uh, hopefully we'll see you around. Okay, just fly the velocity vector to the checkpoint. Yeah. Right, and then put the punch the speed limiter up. Alright, so velocity limits. Ah. Right. Interesting that they're not bringing that up until we're leaving area 18. Possibly why? 400k for a C8. So basically, 400k for the shuttle and 500k for the med bed. Makes sense. Alright. Follow. Oop. Nose down. Again, I'm using lateral thrust as much as pitch and yaw to keep control here. Do, 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 do. Right. Right. 
That's a bit of a turn. Engage your afterwards for temporary boost in. That should really be acceleration rather than speed. Because after all, that's what the afterburners do. In this game, healthcare is three, three, but water is three bucks. Oh yeah. And three bucks is the cheap stuff, I might add. Okay. And the, uh, interestingly, it's brought up, it's cycling through all the flight controls at the moment, having an interesting time of it as well. Okay, use quantum travel to reach Bajini point. So, quantum mode online. Again, I'm just using my joystick controls rather than the keys they're recommending. Right, align it up. Pull back to safe. Something that, again, the game should probably recommend. Zero sublight speed when you're in, coming out of quantum. I have smacked things at high speed before. It's been, um... It's been awkward. All right, and quantum travel to reach Bajini Point. Okay. Right, that should that should really be quantum travel and sublight. Well, conventional thrusters to reach Bajini Point, because if you take that instruction to literally, someone's going to be sitting here going, "But I'm too close to use my quantum drive." Just saying. All right. Forwards once again. Try to smack something. And I'm just going to roll sideways. We haven't got sun glare coming down. Okay, so they've introduced us to the basics of navigating the world, using items, and flying. Next job. Ah, there we go. If cruise control is still active, press C. To regain manual control. I didn't think we'd activated cruise control, but there you go. And as we get closer, presumably it's going to give us a warning to contact ATC. Yep, there we go. And get permission to land at Bajini Point. Proceed to assign landing bay. There we go. Bajini Point, 6,000 meters. Nice touch that the objective marker updated to the landing pad. Whee. Okay, use the speed limiter. And we're taking a sideways ball here. So cut main thrusters, lateral thrust round, landing gear down. Good. Tutorial's telling me that on spec. Fly in and park on the green box, which hopefully should be fairly obvious, but again, the tutorial's assuming you can work it out. On the other hand, if you can't, perhaps this is not the game for you. All stop, hover down. Landing complete. Complete. All right, Landing congratulations complete. on Have surviving my first landing. Yay! All right, exit C. That should say hold Y, by the way. Or at least the control warning here should be saying Y, just as an alternative to the default bindings. Okay, take the elevator to the station lobby. Boop. Objective complete, pilot the tutorial ship out hangar again. I think that's got a little bit stuck. Yeah. Yeah, they are starting to ramp up if they're making tutorials, rather than just leaving us to figure it all out. Or that they're figuring that the game has gotten um, interestingly complex enough that they actually need to start doing tutorials for the new onboards. Okay, so Bajini Point. Store the ship at Bajini Point. This should have updated when I stepped out of the elevator. Because it's not telling me how to store a ship and I've got no objective mark. Although it's, again, you can work it out. 
Get the fleet manager. And store your ship. But the again, the tutorial should not have assumed there should have been a guide here. Tutorial complete. Your first flight. Huzzah. Accept that. Oh, 15,000 in cash. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, journal entry, tutorial, traversing the verse. My objective complete. Oh, I see. Multiple priority missions in play. And then it just leaves you picking up stuff by way of bounties, removal services, salvage rights. That's a new mission type. Uh, basically, you pay your fee, get your coordinates, and go check out a given area to uh, salvage a ship and hopefully make some money. All right, let's just have a look at journal entries. So, traversing the verse, you completed the tutorial, that's up to you to decide your life in space. Contract manager points you to various jobs. Um, you feel free to use the star map, much to discover. There's arena commander. Okay. That is all fairly straightforward. Shipping and inventory. Shopping and inventory. Okay. Oh. Anything in storage is safe. Interaction mode. Welcome to the verse. Food. New How not to starve or die of thirst. Handy. Alright, so yeah, um, as it, there's nothing obviously bad about that tutorial, but there is definitely room for improvement. In particular, they absolutely have got to get you to buy a helmet and put it on as a demonstration of the inventory and the shopping terminals. Because right now, if I was a brand new player standing in Bajini Point with nothing but the suit I was stood up in and possibly oh wait all my inventory's down on area 18 ah can anyone else see a problem <laughs> is it is it just me am I the only one thinking that a sizable percentage of the newbies are going to step outside and discover that, yes, this is Star Citizen, you absolutely can die from sucking vacuum. And just to further cap it all, I know they sell helmets at the cargo centre. I just don't remember if there is a armour vendor at Virginie Point. There's a, set, there's a small branch of, I think it's centre mass. We've got a clothing store. There's a Platinum Bay. I am not sure. But there's an armour store at Bajini Point. Hmm, yes, yes, Legolas, that's the issue. Uh, no, you can't play space pool yet. Yeah. I. There's, there's. Yeah, the only place to buy a helmet on Bajini points in the cargo centre. Oops, sorry, wrong door. Didn't mean to talk to you, sir. So yeah, aside from that, and the fact that one of the lifts has apparently decided to disappear into the void. Detail. Yeah, that, that's that. If there's one change they need to make, it's that one. Now let's see about getting back down to area 18 so I can retrieve my vanguard. 
Ollis hope that I can retrieve my vanguard before it all vanishes off into the void. All right, fleet manager. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Um, vanguard harbinger deliverable. Excellent. Right, I'm going to call in my C8R first. Then I'm going to deliver the vanguard back to area 18. 